Today's guest hustler is star of Shameless and EastEnders, Jodie Latham. I'd like to think that I've got what it takes to be a good hustler. So, we'll see. People who hustle for a living, real hustlers, it must be crazy, I mean, so nerve-wracking. Every day, not knowing what's going to happen. It's a um, scary life. I feel like the new member of Ocean's 12. <laughs> it's great. Ah! Jody has been sent to some disused wasteland to meet a man about a scam. Welcome to The Real Hustle. What do you think? Scary. It's quite <laughs> scary. Uh, we've got a couple of questions for you, quite important. OK. First one is, do you play poker? A little. Oh, now you play a lot. OK. The other question is, how do you think we can take somebody for a lot of money by letting them win a lot more? <laughs> I have no idea. We're going to let someone win thousands. Are we? But you're the secret. OK. All right? We're going to teach you everything you need to know. Sounds good. Come on, I'll Excellent. give you a few lessons on poker. You usually have to start off by playing for as much money as you have. Right. I'll be willing to take that from you. All right. This is the Mad Greek. It's weekday lunchtime in this bar. I think these are the two guys. These guys are both regular poker players. But this guy in particular is carrying lots of cash, making him the mark. Good, Good to again. meet you. How are you? Yes, well. Have a seat. Sure. Stuart. Nice to meet you. Have a seat, Stuart. Thank you. Lee, how are you doing? You all right? Oh. Jody's first role is to put the mark at ease and draw him into the scam. I told you about the game tonight and everything. I mean, you boys are up for that, I'm assuming. Just... Yeah. yeah. Nick is coming over um, just, to, just to say hello and meet you guys. Nick is the guy that runs the game. He is a bit mental. He kind of bets on anything. He'll bet on two flies landing on a sugar cube. I'm serious. He's that guy. But he throws it around, can afford it. It's a fun night if you're up for it. Yeah. Good. And here's the man himself, poker organiser Nick the Mad Greek in a flashy new Merc. Yeah, that's a new car. Yeah. He got a new car three months ago. He's not this guy. You met him once. Briefly. I'll bet you he doesn't remember you. Do you reckon? Right, I'll bet he doesn't remember you. A pound. <laughs> it's actually Alex in his Saturday Night Fever disco suit. He's a gambler who likes expensive cars and even more expensive women. You had nothing to do with me. Nick. Nick. This is Jim. James. We met before, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See? You okay? Yeah, I nearly lost a pound, yeah. yeah. This is Susie, everybody. That will be Jess, playing Nick the Greek's very long-suffering girlfriend. I said there were spaces tonight. You wanted to do the game tonight. Fine. You bring money, you can play. <laughs> yeah? So, you told you, we, we bet on anything. Yeah. I bet on something. He bets on it. Anything. I bet on anything because I'm Greek. Yeah. Yeah. We, bet, we bet on things. <laughs> I tell you what, idea. The, guy, the guy there on the phone, the hoodie, yeah. OK, the bet is which way he goes when he finishes his phone call. The poker's not for hours, but Alex is already gambling. He wants to bet on which way a stranger will walk down the road. Everything you have in your pocket. Anything I've got in my pocket. Anything. All right. There's a what? couple hundred there. All right. How much you got? I'll I've got you covered. You no, no, I'll cover you. Bralto, bralto, sto. Posto un violetta. Bralto. Bralto violetta, baby. Mudaxi. I'm not gonna lose it. Take it off, Ella. No. What? Come, Come on. on. You know I'm good for my work. Me... Come on, Ella, take it off. This is from her parents or something. The Greek shows he's completely barking by using Jess's priceless family heirloom to cover his 500 pound bet. Right, okay, that right, we're covered. All right, we're covered with shake. Right. What are you looking for? Is it real? What are you looking for? I got a fake uh, necklace. I know that thing around your neck is fake. Come on. Uh, that right. He has to go that way. That right, that way. So, if the guy in the hoodie goes left, then Paul wins the bet. If he goes right, Alex makes 500 pounds. Are you sure you don't want any action? No, 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 no. The mark's staying out of this bet. Just as well, as that random stranger is really jazz. He's actually on the phone to Jess, listening into the conversation in the pub and waiting for his moment to walk away. Whoa, 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 hold on, uh, hold on, uh, okay. here he goes. Turn, you <laughs> turn. Uh, wait, 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 uh, which way? Oh, mamma mia! Oh, mamma mia! A good bet. 
<laughs> the whole scene was staged to convince the mark Alex is 24 karat crazy. Listen, Are you tonight good? though, tonight we're going to play pockets. Okay. This is the game I love. Right. It's my favorite because it's a pure gambling game. Uh, so, I see you tonight. Before Alex heads off, he reminds Paul that he wants to play pockets later on. It's another crazy gambling game, and it's clearly his favourite. You will lose more money to me tonight. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Hi there. Yamas, Pockets, which is the stupidest game in the world, right? I've told him that he has a tell, right? And that if he puts something in his left pocket or his right pocket, I always know where it is. A tell is a gambler's unwitting giveaway sign. He can't figure out what his tell is. His tell is, is that somebody just told me which pocket is. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the tell. <laughs> Paul must now persuade the mark to play a little trick on Alex. He wants him to cheat when they're playing their game of pockets later on. <laughs> and all it is, is if he puts it in his right pocket, you put any hand in any pocket, right? If there's no hand in the pocket, Nothing. All I need is if one of you wouldn't mind just letting me know which pocket he put something in. No. So, <laughs> I'll reach for the mobile phone when it's in the right. <laughs> Sounds like he's up for a spot of light cheating by signalling to Paul which pocket Alex is hiding an object in later tonight. Can you do that as well? You can do it, right? I mean, oh, oh, oh. Jody also agrees to make the mark feel like it's no big deal. They say their goodbyes and agree to meet up later at the card club for an evening of wild gambling. Take care, guys. Earlier today, Shameless star Jody Latham helped the hustlers convince this mark to get involved in a poker game being run by Nick the Mad Greek, a wealthy high roller known for his wild gambling habit. Full house! A game called Pockets is also on the cards, and the mark has agreed to help Paul win in... It's the biggest bet you've ever made in your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Mad Greek, part two. The mark arrives at the casino for tonight's poker game. The Mad Greek's Mercedes AMG is parked right outside, so it's game on. And we have um, 500 pounds. Everybody buy in. We can settle up at the end, no problem. I trust you guys. Okay. The cards start flying as the hustlers set about gaining the mark's confidence. Give me my full house, baby. Oh, uh, no, yes, full house. Alex starts out winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we One go. to five. I raise another hundred. Oh god. Okay. But as the game goes on, Alex's plays get more and more reckless. I don't like my, my kicker. Have it. Take it. All right, 100. No, I don't like the Greek it. starts losing his chips left, right, and centre. All in. All right, call. And before long, Alex is almost broke. Ah, you ah. have me. You have me. Paul puts him out of his misery. Wait, 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 wait. I cut you for everything. But Alex isn't done playing. If you beat me, I give you the card. Having run out of money, Alex is now playing with the key to his £30,000 Mercedes. The mark looks on in awe. You don't have to give me the chip back. I can buy it. The bet's off to everyone's relief. OK, take a break. Take a break. Do you want to come, come downstairs, boys? So the Greek is out. He spent enough on poker, but he hasn't run out of cash yet. He's saving some for his favourite game, game, Pockets. I'm ready. I'm ready. Paul turns his back while Alex puts his car key into one of his jacket pockets, right or left. All Paul has to do is guess which pocket the key is in. Simple. Left. <laughs> Why, how you do this now? You have never done it right, how many, five times in a row? Every time, you got to tell. I have a tell. You have a tell, these guys already know what it is. No way. Yep, do you know what his tell is? Oh, See? Tell. His tell is, is that somebody just told me which pocket is. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the tell. <laughs> I do it with you. I do with you, a thousand pounds, I do with you. <laughs> a thousand pounds, I'll do it for a thousand. You know, I'm going to the toilet, I'll do it for a thousand pounds with him. With the help of Jody and the Mark, Paul can't lose. Alex refuses to play him anymore. 
He now wants to play the mark. If you lose, I'll give you the money. Christmas came early, right? The mark finally agrees to play Alex at pockets. Paul's guaranteeing the bet, so he's got nothing to lose. Remember, right in the pocket, left out the pocket. So if he puts it in his right pocket, you put any hand in any pocket. If there's no hand in the pocket, nothing. Are you ready? He's Don't gonna be do scared. it. I'm this scared. Fight. I'm scared. I'm scared. Look away. Yes, look yeah, away. You can look. It's now down to Jody. He has to signal to the mark which pocket Alex has put the key in. If this goes wrong, the scam is off. The key's in Alex's right pocket. Jody's signal is to put his hands in his pocket. This is for a grand. Left or right? It's in your right pocket. In my right pocket? <laughs> the mark gets it correct. He's just won a thousand pounds. Double or nothing? No. Double or nothing? No. Mate, Come on. Crazy. Double or nothing? Not to lose. No, double or nothing. If you get it wrong, you don't get it. Come on, play. <laughs> okay, turn it right. away. Alex puts the object in his right pocket again. So Jody once again puts his hands in his pockets for the signal. You can turn around. <clears throat> for 2,000, eh? Left or right? They're now playing for two grand. <laughs> Be honest. Oh my days. <laughs> I told you. I can't take any more of this. No, 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 no. Double or nothing. I can't take any Double or nothing. I can't take Double any or more. nothing for. Look away. The mad Greek just won't accept defeat. So it's double or nothing again. You alright? No. <laughs> this time it's left, so Jody's hands are out of his pockets. This is four thousand I owe him. Yeah? Four grand is on the line here. In your left pocket. The mark's now £4,000 up on the game. Double or nothing, one more time. One more time. Paul advises the mark to take the massive eight grand bet. He knows he can't lose, but he's still nervous. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. The hands are out of the pockets and the signals are in place. It's in your left pocket. This is not my night. Eh? Eight thousand pounds won in just a few seconds. Last one, because I, I, I a chance to get my money. Last one. You have sixteen thousand with you, though. I have the car. Thirty thousand pounds. That's a brand new Mercedes AMG worth more than thirty grand. Alex is now using the car as collateral. You ready? I'm ready. Hands in. And that means the right pocket. It's the biggest bet you've ever made in your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's in your right pocket. <laughs> oh my God. 16 grand. That's way more than the mark has ever won. Enough. Enough. No more. Yeah, finally, enough. <laughs> Nick the Greek said enough. <laughs> I can get it to you Monday. Uh, tonight you're good for 16,000. On Monday you tend to forget a little. Just, you know. Listen, you want something? You can take the car. 30,000 pounds. You can have the car, you give me 16,000 the square. But you don't have 16,000 on you either. So Alex is happy to use the car as collateral, but it's worth far more than the 16,000 pounds he owes the mark. Go have a look at the car. But this is worth 30,000. Okay, we're clear. Let me speak to him. So, so let me speak to him. All right, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's take have a look. Have a look at the car. They go outside to calm down and have a good look at the car. Oh, my days. You can't have it, though, surely. He's not just going to give you his car. Alex won't release the car for the 16 grand owed. Maybe there's a compromise. You owe him 16. I owe him 16, which I have to I'm going to pay. Gives you 6,000. That makes up to 22. 22,000 is a good price for that car. In your, in your game, that's a good price for that car. So Paul's suggesting giving Alex a few grand to make up the cost of the car, and the mark can then keep it. OK, Did. The mark will pay just six grand for a £30,000 car. Where's the cash? Uh, uh, yeah, give him the cash. 
so. There go an awful lot of 50 pound notes. Deal? Yeah. You got yourself a car. You're happy? Um, it's not sunken. <laughs> what do you want to drink, Stuart? Um, Miller. Get him a Miller. He's only going to have one beer, though. After all, he's got a brand new car to drive home. Go upstairs, sit down, I'll get Jackie. The Mark heads upstairs while the hustlers go to the bar to buy the drinks. There's no sign of the hustlers or those beers. What's the hold up? Eventually, the Mark gets suspicious and goes back downstairs to find his new friends. There's no sign of them at the bar, so he heads outside. But they're not out here. And there's no Mercedes either. Go upstairs, sit down, I'll get Jackie. The hustlers weren't getting the drinks in after all. And Alex wasn't handing over the real key to that sports car. How else could he return it to the rental company that hired it out to them for the day? Watching it all fit into place, you're thinking, wow, wow, wow. And you're getting more and more excited and more and more sort of keen to do it, to have someone off. <laughs> the reality of it is, it just it, it confirmed what I already knew, and that is it's very easy to get hustled. We all love a bargain, but a casino is the wrong place to start thinking about buying a motor car. Make sure the person that's offering you something really has got the right to sell it. Be challenging about it. A car key on its own is worth nothing. <laughs>